I'm on the ST stand at Embedded World and I've been joined by this gentleman here, Matthias Norlander, who's new to the company, thanks to the fact that ST has just acquired Atolic. So how did Atolic get onto ST's radar? Yeah, it's a good question. Well, um, partly it's because uh, ST already had a big user base in uh, the True Studio tool. They were really happy with the tool. And it's also because ST wanted to grow their IDE tool development team. And we made a good fit there too. So that's essentially it. And beside that also, yeah, uh, the real story I guess is that the tool with professional feature now is for free. That's nice. That's incredible, because I know because developers had to pay for it up until now. What does it then add to that STM32 tool portfolio? Well, uh, the main features are in the debug end. It's real-time tracing with Serial Wire Viewer, ETM, MTB, but it's also kernel debug, um, kernel aware debugging of RTOSs. It's um, build analysis and static stack analysis. And so run us through the demo so I can see it in action. Yeah, so here I can show you some uh, data tracing, let's say, with uh, the ST-Link uh, using Serial Wire Viewer. So uh, I've set up the hardware comparators to monitor um, some RAM uh, addresses. So we fetch updated values from the accelerometer, CPU writes them to RAM, and we immediately see how uh, yeah, they're written into the RAM memory. So basically, it's really useful for troubleshooting memory accesses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> amongst other things. Uh, what about evolving True Studio now? Yeah, well, well, we'll keep True Studio supported and we will continue to integrate other STM32 um, related tools into, into these environments. So, if I want to do some debugging on my STM32 product, how do I get started? I would do two things. First, go to atolic.com and there you download Atolic True Studio. It's still on the website, Atolic, yeah? Yeah, okay. it's still hosted there, right. and it, but it's free now. It's okay. completely free. Right. So uh, you do that, and then I would also recommend downloading STM32 CubeMX because it's the best starting point to get started. Uh, CubeMX supports True Studio generating projects for True Studio. That's what I would do. Great stuff. Yeah. Welcome to the ST family. Thank you. Thank you.